The Synology DStation DS223 is a new 2-bay NAS from Synology. The review of this unit will be ready soon and in this video though, will you get to see the disassembly process of the NAS. This way you get a better understanding of how this NAS was built, how it works and satisfy your curiosity so you don't try to open your own NAS and void your warranty or worse, damage something inside. We start with the NAS and it looks good and similar with other Synology models especially the two bay units. First you remove the front panel which is only attached to the NAS with some rubber pads that slide into their slots. With that removed we gain access to the two hard drive trays. These are made from plastic so be careful when you take them out. You need to push on the upper buttons that say push and this way you basically release the hard drive trays and you slide them out to the front. Afterwards, you unscrew the four screws that hold in place the fan cover. While this might not affect the way this NAS is disassembled, it's good to remove it first and prevent any potential damage to the plastic casing later. Then at the front, you have the biggest issue in terms of disassembly, these two clips that you must push upwards to release the entire casing of the NAS. With those pushed upwards, the entire plastic casing will come loose and you can just simply remove it. Next, we need to remove the cage that holds the hard drive straight in place and here is where things get more involved as you need to first remove two brackets. The black bracket is attached to the cage with just one screw and it is inserted into the frame of the fan so it will easily slide out to the sides. The next bracket is on the opposite side and this one is made from metal. Simply remove the two screws holding it together and it will drop by itself. Finally, you unscrew the four screws that hold the cage in place and gently lift the entire thing out. I say gently because you are not only removing the cage but also a PCIe Express card that is attached to it. This expansion card is what connects the hard drives to the main motherboard of the NAS so be very careful with it. With the hard drive cage removed, we gain access to the motherboard which is installed upside down. At this time, you can only see the backplate of the motherboard but that will soon change as you need to remove four Phillips screws that hold the entire thing attached to the casing. Finally, you get to remove the entire motherboard but be careful as you still have the power socket connected to it as well as the exhaust fan. Underneath this black heatsink we have the CPU of the NAS. This unit uses a Realtek RTD 1619B which is a 4 core CPU that is running at 1.7 GHz and has a total of 2 GB of DDR4 RAM for its onboard memory. The fan is made by YS Tech with the model number FD129225 LL-N. This 92mm fan has been widely used with Synology NAS systems and it has a proved record for reliability. From its basic specifications, we know that the maximum speed of this fan is 1800 rpm and the speed can be controlled automatically through the software of the NAS. This small chip which says V1817-Q7 is in fact the USB 3.1 Gen 1 hub controller of the NAS. It is made by VIA Labs and has been widely used with NAS systems in the past so we can trust it to do a good job now. Looking back at the disassembly process of this NAS, it is clear that it was not really meant to be disassembled and serviced at home. Sure, you can take it apart, but except for replacing the fan, there isn't much you can do. There is no way to upgrade the RAM of the CPU or repair the CPU itself. And there is really no reason to disassemble it in the first place. This video should satisfy your curiosity and give you a better understanding of how these units are made, especially internally. The build quality is good with mostly metal made components for the important bits of the NAS. If you have issues with your NAS, please follow the warranty procedure or at least have the NAS serviced by someone that has done it before and is certified to do so.